Before we get into that, if you enjoy our programming, please go get your special adults so they can like, share, or subscribe to our Facebook or YouTube channels. That allows many more people to come and join us and see what we're learning about God. About this element thing, we have been learning all month about faith. Now, if you recall, faith is a confident trust in God. That means we trust God no matter what because our faith muscles are strong. And we've been learning how to make our faith muscles strong. Um, like on week one, we learned that we need to spend time with God, listening to God's words, reading God's words. That's what builds our faith. And then we need to learn to choose wisely to build our faith. And then one more thing we learned was about practicing our faith. Remember I showed you my awesome bicep? I don't have an awesome bicep because I laid on the sofa all the time and watched TV. No, I do exercises. And when you're building your faith, it's just like that, exercising. We have another part of faith we're gonna to learn today, but we need to open our hearts and our minds in prayer. So, prayer position, hands, eyes, and you can stand or sit or kneel, whichever you would prefer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your words in the Bible that help us grow our faith. Thank you for giving us faith and help us to choose to be faithful and exercise our faith and all the things that grow our faith every day. We want to be faithful and we want to trust you and be confident in all the things you say. Please be with us as we learn more today in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, now it's time to like Get up, get the wiggles out. We have two praise songs to sing, and they're about God. Isn't that great? So get ready. Take it away, Pastor Dave.
Hey friends, did you like that video? Yeah, I thought you would. Hey, why don't you check out some other ones right there? Good stuff, it's all good stuff. Hey Carl, you want a snack? Yeah, I knew you would, buddy. I've heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like, but I've heard tender whispers of love in the dead of night, and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never. but you still can't see the wind. We know it's there though, because we can see the effects and we can feel it when it blows on us. Well, it's the same with God. We can't see God, but we can look all around us and see the effects of God. 
And when we pray to God and He comforts us, you can feel God's presence. And when we sing a song and it gives us a great feeling, that's the feeling about God. Now, what are we learning this week? Now, I know you are all great kids out there and you share all the time. You share with your brother, your sister, you share with your friends, you share with your mom and dad. We share all the time. Well, now we're going to talk about sharing our faith. Sharing our faith is, is telling somebody how much you believe in God. Telling so much, somebody how you believe in prayer and that prayer really works. These are very important things to do because when you talk about God, you are actually helping the other person open their heart so they can hear God as well. This is a very important part that we all play with uh, communicating and influencing the people around us. So I know we have a Bible story all about sharing. So I need my Miss Debbie. Miss Debbie, Miss Debbie, the kids are ready for a Bible story about sharing our Hello, Miss Epitome friends. Yes, it's Miss Debbie here. And yes, I have today's big idea. What is it again? Today's big idea is Faith is meant to be shared. Oh, the Bible is full of so many stories of people sharing their faith. What's more exciting than what God has done for us, right? Let's get right into our lesson. Go ahead and grab your Bible. Let's open up to Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to do that, okay? For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Wow! You know, I can't wait to see what plans God has for our future. Faith is a huge building block of our lives. Faith is what gives us confidence to believe in God's plan when things go bad. That reminds me of today's lesson, and today's lesson is a story about a little girl we call the Little Maid. You see, the Little Maid, she was taken from her home in Syria, and she was made to be a servant to the wife of a man named Nehemiah, a very powerful soldier. Now, she could have been angry and crying and tearing on, but no. She trusted in God's plan and she did the best job she could. Now you can find this story in 2 Kings chapter 5. Check out our video. Hello boys and girls, this is Aunt Fernita and I have a wonderful story for you called The Little Maid Serves God. Today's memory verse is from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 16 and 17. May God strengthen you in every good deed and word. The message for today's story is we serve God by what we do and say. Do you know how to serve God? The little maid served God by what she did and said. The little slave girl carefully lifted the perfume bottles and dusted them. The bottles usually sparkled in the light that streamed through the bedroom windows. But not today. Today the curtains were closed, and Mrs. Naaman was sitting on her bed in the darkness, crying softly. The little maid knew why. Captain Naaman had leprosy. The leprosy made white spots on his skin, and he could not feel things with his fingers and toes. And this made Mrs. Naaman very, very sad. The little maid tiptoed quietly to the bed. I wish Master Naaman would go see the prophet in my country, she whispered. Prophet Elisha would heal him of his leprosy. Mrs. Naaman wiped her eyes. What? What are you talking about, child? she asked. So the little maid told Mrs. Naaman all about the prophet Elisha who lived in Israel. The Lord of Heaven works miracles through the prophet Elisha, she said. Then the little maid told Mrs. Naaman all she had learned from her parents about the true and living God. Mrs. Naaman scooted off the bed. 
Bring me some water to wash my face, she said. I must talk with my husband. Captain Naaman was the commander of the king's army. So Naaman told the king what the little maid had told his wife. Go, said the king. Go and visit the prophet. I will send a letter to the king of Israel for you. Captain Naaman took silver and gold coins and ten sets of beautiful clothes with him. These would be gifts to the people in Israel who helped him. But when the king of Israel read the letter from the king of Syria, he was deeply troubled. The king of Israel knew that he could not heal Naaman. He didn't understand why the king of Syria thought he could heal Naaman. He was very worried. What if Naaman wasn't healed? Would the king of Syria attack Israel again? Prophet Elisha heard about Naaman's visit. Elisha sent Israel's king a message. Why are you so upset? Have Naaman come visit me, and he will know that there is a prophet in Israel. Prophet Elisha knew that he couldn't heal Naaman, but God could. Prophet Elisha and the little maid both wanted Captain Naaman to know about the true God. The little maid showed her love of God as she helped Mrs. Naaman in everything she said. She loved to share God with others. And you can serve God too by what you do and say. That is how others will know that you love God. The most important thing we can ever share with people is our faith in God. Let's go ahead and open up our Bible one more time to the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 15. Jesus said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Jesus commands us to share the gospel. Now, little maid, she could have gone right into Naaman's house and started telling everybody about God, but I don't think that they would have believed very much in her, right? So instead, she showed who God was. She stayed quiet, was hard, and was trustworthy, and she was patient. And when the time was right, she shared what her God could do for her master. Isn't that wonderful? One of the biggest reasons people fail to share their faith is because they don't know what to say. So it's really easy. First of all, you need to spend time in God's word to find out who God is, right? Second, be patient and show who God is by your actions. When people see how different you are, that would be a good time to tell them about God. And of course, if all else fails, you can use music to tell who God is. There's plenty of songs out there that tells who God is and how much you love Him and how much He loves us. I sure pray and hope that you allow these lessons to be like seeds to be planted in your lives so that they can grow and grow. Back to Miss Clarissa. Thank you, Miss Debbie. That was an awesome story. I, I sometimes am a little bit afraid, like the little maid was in your story, and that was very encouraging that, that even if it was a little bit scary, she shared about the things she knew. You gave some awesome tips, like keeping it simple and, and talking about the things I know, and a song? Well, I have a song. I have a song about faith, and and my shirt says about faith and, and a seed. I'm going to sing a song with my friend, Miss Debbie, that's going to help us remember all the lessons we learned this week and encourage you to, to keep sharing your faith. Where, where, where's my ukulele? Where, where is it? Here it is. I have everything I need except Miss Debbie. Miss Debbie. It's so good to see you. How you do? Uh, are you ready to sing a song about faith to our friends? I sure am. Okay.
faith comes from hearing, and hearing the word of God. Use your faith, believe and speak. What? Faith is like a seed, make it grow, make it grow. Faith is like a rope, don't let go, don't let go. Faith comes from hearing, and hearing the word of God. Use your faith, believe and speak. What? Faith is like a seed, make it grow, make it grow. Faith is like a rope, don't let go, don't let go. Thank you.